I don't know what a secret is, but they just taste so good. Watching Cheska's channel I really hope you are all well now today I thought I would do a little video on the things that I have personally done to really help me de-stress stay positive and keep relaxed now I think we can all agree that everyone has gone through their stresses in their lives they've had those low days they've had their down days where they just want to shut themselves away and that is totally fine we are all in the same boat with that it is what it is to be human so today I thought I would share with you guys some tips that I think has really personally helped me get over those stresses and cope with those down days and yeah I just really hope that they do help you obviously I am not a doctor and I'm definitely not a professional but yeah some of these things may not work for you but they definitely worked for me and I just felt this was a really good time to share these because especially with everything going on at the moment it is quite hard to stay relaxed you know it is hard to keep positive and yet we do have a lot of stresses going on at the moment so if you do like this video please go ahead and give it a like comment in the section below and let me know what you think of this video and if you would like to have more videos like this also I'd love to hear your strategy so let me know some things that you do to you know to help cope with those stresses and get over those down days I would love to hear those also if you have not subscribed already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with my future content so yeah sit back relax have a cup of tea or whatever you like to drink and yeah i really really do hope that you can take something from this video and you will enjoy this and yeah maybe i should cut this intro down now and get on with the video so good so this isn't actually one of my tips but i thought i would say it because yeah i personally think that um as you can see i've got squash in here not hot water whoops i'm such a bad person this is coming from a food lover here if i'm ever feeling really really down and I just pick something up, like some good food, and I have a drink, it makes me feel so much better. I think that might be partly because when I don't eat, I get really grouchy, but I'm just saying, maybe you guys should consider it. You know, if you're ever feeling down, have a little bit of crisps, have some sweets, have a bit of chocolate. I know it's naughty, but it does actually make you feel better. It's a little pick-me-up, a bit of sugar, you know, runs you around and have a nice drink, refreshing drink along with it. I think it generally helps. Well, it helps me anyway. But then me and food have a good relationship, so, yeah. Okay, so how do I get over my stresses? The way I get over my stresses is just like this. Whew, that was close. I am fully joking. Obviously, you can't dodge those problems. Obviously, you cannot put those stresses and those down times in a box and just forget about them. Unfortunately, you do just have to deal with them a lot of the time. You do have to face them and you do have to try and just get over them. But this is why I've done this video because hopefully these things will help you deal with them and cope with them and not have to just forget about them as much as we love to, but I can assure you that is not the best way of dealing with stressors because they will all pile up and it will go into overload. So you must deal with them in some way. Okay, so my actual first tip, and I'm gonna start off with the basics because why not? And this is pretty obvious, but maybe some people actually don't see it in this way, in a positive light. It is just to get into some joggers, put some fluffy socks on, get into a cozy jumper, tuck up into bed and watch television. Binge watch television. You can do it for a whole day, you can do it for a couple of hours, you can do whatever suits you. The reason why I'm saying this is because I think a lot of people might think that is not the best way of dealing with those stresses. <laughs> However, this is correct in many, many ways. However, it all depends on what you're stressed about. Now, if you've had a really, really hard long day, or you've had a really, really hard long week and it's been such a slog and you just feel exhausted, 
this is your answer. You just need some you time. You just need to lie down. You just need to have a good nap. You need to just bring yourself back to center. Now, sometimes we do overwork ourselves and we go into overload. And when we do that, yes, our minds are going at a rate of 4,000 miles per hour. So sometimes it is just good to just sit back and relax. Having a nap for an hour, for two hours if you want, watching on television and just cozying up and feeling at one with yourself. Now I can assure you this will make you feel better if you have gone into overload and you are feeling so overwhelmed. Give yourself a break and just relax sometimes. It's really, really good for you. Okay, so another good way to, um, you know, de-stress and just fight off those down thoughts and those bad moments in your life and all that is to do a workout. Yeah. I know, do a sweaty workout. Now, I always find that just working out and pumping is actually so good when you're feeling really stressed out. What you are doing is you're pumping all of those stresses out your body, quite literally. You are focusing on your body, you are focusing on yourself, you are hitting to music, and that's another th really good thing. Have that music blaring. And yeah, you will initially, and for a while, forget about those stresses. So not only are you also just literally pumping those stresses out your body, you are also doing something to make yourself feel more confident about yourself. And let's be honest, confidence is such a key thing in life to feeling more positive. Have a workout because you will feel more positive, because you'll feel more confident and you'll be pumping those stresses away and forgetting about them. Now another one that really does help me and this is probably one of my absolute favorites but it is to light some candles and have a pamper night. Now I personally love doing this. I think it's so nice after a really tough day um, just to come back and light some candles. I don't know what it is about candles, but they make you feel so relaxed and so centered. For any like essential oils or anything, set them off around the room. So once you have lit that candle, go ahead and get into some nice cozy loungewear, whatever that is. Maybe it's some trackies, maybe it's a baggy jumper, maybe it's a cozy warm dressing gown. You know how much I love my cozy dressing gowns. Maybe make a nice bubbly bath and you know, light some candles around it and put some soothing music on and then yeah do some face mask and paint your nails and just have a proper pamper night and make yourself feel good about yourself so not only will this make you feel super relaxed after a very long day you will also feel better because you'll be doing things to make yourself feel better so you're doing things to look after your body and look after yourself you're doing things that make you feel more confident and as I said they are all key things to just making yourself feel better and de-stressing after a really difficult day so my next tip for you is if you've had a really long hard week maybe look back on what you have generally been eating uh this might sound stupid but it is true so if i've had a really tough day the next day i will make sure that i'm eating really healthy and just drinking better things and just having a more kind of balanced and better diet. If you've had a whole week of maybe eating chocolate and eating sweets and eating all this rubbish, that can actually make you feel really, really low. Now, as much as I said earlier on, that obviously, you know, if you're feeling a little bit down, have, you know, sugar and have some chocolate and stuff. Of course, if you're feeling down and you, this is what you need, definitely do that. But if you've kind of looked at your whole week and you've been doing that all week already, bad idea. You need to actually change up your diet a little bit for the day. Eating at actually is such an important thing to make you feel better. It's crazy, but what you put in your body can completely change your mood. So what I would advise is eating extremely healthy for the day. Yes, eating healthy. So have an orange, have an apple, have whatever. Have a salad, have a good salad. Have porridge in the morning with blueberries, drink water. They always say what's really, really good to have in the morning is water with lemon. So do that. Eat that orange. Give yourself those vitamins that you need. And for lunch, instead of having a burger or I don't know, a fatty sandwich or whatever, have a nice salad, have a Greek salad, have a chicken salad, have whatever floats your boat. But as long as it's a bit healthier than you normally do, I can assure you that by the end of the day, you might feel a little bit better than you have all week. Okay, so my next tip is to read some books. Yes, so I think a lot of people might look past this and think, oh, I hate reading books. I much prefer to watch a film right now. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Like, of course I do. I love films. I was definitely the type of girl to sit in front of the TV and sit on the settee and sit in bed and just watch movies all day long because I felt that was best for me. But there are so many different books that you can try. And that's the good thing about it. Be experimental, try different books out. Some won't be for you and others will be. Reading is good for you. 
it's not only good for you but it's seriously therapeutic so it just relaxes you it relaxes your mind and that's why they also always advise to read before bed pick up the book before bed and read the book before bed don't pick up the phone pick up the book <laughs> now why because a phone is not yeah you can read stuff on there but it's such a bright light and it's been proven that having that bright light in your face at night before you go to bed is not good for you so as much as reading books about action and fiction and fantasy and drama and all that kind of stuff is amazing try and read books just about everyday life and things that could help you and teach you things books are really good for that they're full of information for example one book that certainly helped me and that i do really like is the secret now the secret is a really really good book and it's all about like the laws of attraction and everything and you can get so stuck into this because it gives you all the juicy secrets the secret on things that can really help you day to day so certainly try and read books like this and if you haven't try the secret out because i can assure you you will like this book so a really good way of relaxing and this is definitely a really good way of relaxing because i've done it before and i love it and this is doing some yoga i can't explain it you just get lost you just get lost in this little world of doing yoga and it makes you feel really good and it just stretches your body out and it relaxes all those muscles so if you had a really tough day or anything like that come back and do some yoga also before you have your day do some yoga because this is really good if you do it in the morning it'll make you feel so much better throughout the day because you've started off on a good note and you started off on a relaxing note. So there are so many different um, things online such as loads of videos on YouTube, there are apps you can download on your phone and there's just things generally on the internet that can really help you um, learn and practice your yoga skills so definitely try some yoga out. Another thing that's definitely really good and it definitely works for me because well I do love music play music that you get lost in. Now, if you play some music you get lost in and you just dance around your room and you sing and you just focus on the music in the moment, it will make you feel better. Music is such a good way of just getting lost in the moment and just forgetting about all those worries and stresses. If you're ever feeling stressed out or overwhelmed, put some music on which is soothing, like for example, a harp playing or particular instruments just playing or the wind blowing. If you just type in on the internet, you know, into YouTube, um, soothing, relaxing music to calm your mind, it comes up with a bunch of videos. Sometimes it's like four hours long. <laughs> You've got so many different options. There are some apps that you can download, such as Calm. Now, Calm is an app which is specifically for you when you know you are feeling down and you need to calm yourself. Um, and what it does is it plays some really therapeutic sounds. Sometimes if you just lie in bed and you just try and relax and you hear waves crashing or you hear rain pouring, that can just really, really relax you and make you feel really at peace. So yeah, I definitely advise downloading some apps that help with those kind of therapeutic sounds that send you into you know a calm mindset and just playing some music that you can get lost in and just forget about all of those stresses for a moment and another thing that i would suggest to you know squash that down don't make it more positive would definitely be to do some therapeutic things now what i mean by that is picking up some things like maybe painting or doing some drawing or doing some coloring or writing a song or writing a poem all of that kind of stuff is so therapeutic and it's super rewarding so for example if you decide to paint a picture you know you're not only relaxing and getting completely lost within that but it's very very rewarding so you know you'll come out with something that you might actually really really like and you're super chuffed with but just putting that phone away and picking up a pad to paint on or color or or draw or write a song or um, create music or write poems or write a story or write a journal out any of that do that and put that phone away and just pick up those stuff yeah it will make you feel so much better okay and another thing that i personally really 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 like and it really really helps me is writing things down and i love it because you know your brain is filling up with all this information all these messages and it just needs to have some time to relax it needs to some things need to come out of that brain and put on a piece of paper now i have which i think is really good i have a little agenda now i think it's really really important to have agendas because you can keep your life on track so i might find within my week i might have 400 things to do quite literally and um, that I need to complete or I want to resolve and yeah it's all just gonna pile up in my mind and build this big stress I'm gonna get completely overwhelmed and just shut down so this is where the agenda comes in so I love this agenda I actually got this from TK Maxx so you can get um, lots of different lovely diaries from DK Maxx I'd highly advise when you first open up um, it just shows you the date 2019 2020 um 18 month calendar and as you go through every month has a quote on it 
Now, I love quotes. I think quotes are really important. And sometimes looking at quotes will kind of, you know, put things into perspective and make yourself feel better if you're ever worried about something. I find sometimes quotes save you. So here is April 2020. This is what we're on now. So the quote for this month is every single day, do something that makes your heart sing. Now, I love this quote because obviously I love singing um, and I just think it's a really beautiful quote. Every single um, day and every single week we'll have a quote. So live more, worry less. What a great quote. Live more guys, worry less. And this is true. And then yeah, you can write down everything. So if I had a whole week of things to do each day, I will write down Okay, so today I'm gonna to complete this. Tuesday I'm gonna complete this. Wednesday I'm gonna complete this. Thursday I'm gonna complete this. Friday I'm gonna complete this. And I've wrote it all down and I'm thinking to myself, whew, okay, I've got a proper plan now. This has made me feel so much better. So yeah, get your agendas going, get your to-do list going because it makes you feel 10 times better. If they don't work for you, so if you don't like using agendas and you don't like writing things down like that, that's fine. But one thing you can do, so this is my little, you got this clipboard thing just get a piece of paper you don't obviously need a you got this um clipboard but one thing i like to do is i like to write down my positives and my negatives so if i'm ever feeling really really down or just everything's stressing me out why not create two bubbles and write down your positives in your life and write down your negatives in your life this way you get it out of your head and you're writing on a piece of paper and you're thinking okay so this is what i'm this is my positives in my life this is what i feel really good about this is what's good in my life this is what's negative this is what i'm really not happy with that i need to sort out and work out a solution for them that will make you feel so much better Ooh. put it up on your wall and as you go along cross negatives off until you just have a bubble of positives i just think it's a really good way of getting all of that stuffy mind and negative stuff onto a piece of paper and overcoming them. So yeah, that is my advice on writing things down. It is really good. I highly advise that one. Another thing that I think is super important and yeah, it really, really does help is going for a walk. I know, yeah. <laughs> going for a walk is like super simple, super simple um, suggestion, I know, but it is actually so, so good for you and I'd highly advise it. Definitely one of my favorites. If you leave your phone at home and you just go for a relaxing walk, it can be so good for you. Why? Because you are out in the fresh air and you are looking at your surroundings and you're appreciating life, appreciating that you can walk down that road. You're appreciating that you can see this beautiful view in front of you. When you do go for this walk, take some deep breaths. If you're ever feeling completely overwhelmed or stressed or just, oh, you just wanna get out and you just don't know what to do, inhale, exhale, and just breathe. Simple. So as you can see from this video, um, I went on a walk the other day um, with the most stunning sunset in front of me. Now, how can you not look at that and think to yourself, ah, oh, I feel a little bit more relaxed now. It's just amazing seeing things like that and going for those walks make you feel so much better. So yeah, I definitely advise doing that because yeah, it just, it's the best thing. And on that note, I think I will actually do the rest of this video on a little walk, you know, mix it up a little bit and the sun is absolutely beautiful out there. So let's go get some fresh air and I'll finish off my tips on that walk. How pretty is this? So yeah, as I said, make sure you go on your walks because it's super therapeutic. So as you can see, the sun is beautiful today. So yeah, I thought I would carry on this video outside. Now, one of these things, which, you know, I think is super important, and to be honest, a lot of people don't do this, um, but they, they need to learn to say no. You need to learn to say no. So if you ever, ever don't want to do something, don't do it. Because if you start to do things that you really, really just don't want to do and you're not feeling confident about, you're not happy about, why put yourself in that position in the first place? You know, things that make you happy and not what other people want. If you do things that other people want all the time and you just don't say no to things sometimes, then yeah, you're going to cause yourself to feel stressed out. Pretty simple, really. So learn to say no. Now, another thing that I would definitely say is learn to avoid procrastination. I find, and I've been, a, I've been someone that's done this a lot, if I feel like I've got so much to deal with, I'll procrastinate, I'll leave it, I'll wait, I'll think, oh yeah, it'll be all right, I'll come back to it later, and then what happens? It all piles up. That's when it becomes super overwhelming. You know, if you build all those stresses up into one, you procrastinate on them all, you'll feel super overwhelmed because you have so much to deal with. 
sometimes you just gotta face these stresses and face these worries and face these things that bring you down and just fight them there and then. How pretty. Yeah, another thing that can um, definitely make you feel better is to help other people. So if you help other people, it can make you feel so much better. So if you're ever feeling quite down or feeling quite low, go and help someone else. Go and make someone else's day feel better because I can assure you doing that will just make you feel so much better. So help other people, it'll make you feel better. Do something for someone else and yeah, it'll be so rewarding because then you are giving them something and they'll be giving you something back. That is always a really, really good way to feel better about things. Another thing that's really good to do, and um, this is good because it could just clear your mind. If you are feeling a bit stressed out with things or a bit overwhelmed, make sure you give your room a good clean. Cleaning your room is not only uh, therapeutic, well it can be and it can't be depending on how big the mess is, but it also um, can just really clear your mind and clear out any of that junk. They always say, um, clear, clear space, clear mind. That is a saying I think. I hope so anyway, that's super embarrassing if not. Lastly, um, my last point I'm going to make, which I think is really, really important actually, at this time especially, and that is to just look forward to the future. And what I mean by that is make sure you have things to look forward to. When you've got things to look forward to um, and things to look ahead with, it always makes you feel better, gets you up in the morning, keeps you going, and it has something to just strive towards. Yeah, look forward to the future, look forward to all the lovely things that's going to happen. Don't stress about or worry about the future and try not to stress about what's happening right now. I know it's difficult, but yeah, we just all got to stick together and look forward to coming out at the end of this and hugging everyone again. And that is definitely something we could definitely look forward to. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you did take something from it. Hopefully my tips and things that I have tried will help you guys if you're ever feeling stressed out or having a low day or a down day, try those things out. Also, if you are ever feeling a little bit down, I am always here. My inbox is definitely open so if you ever need to talk i am here for that yeah i think we can all agree that this time is not the best you know we're all going through a bit of stress at the moment and yeah it's not exactly relaxing um with everything that's happening so i really hope that anything that i suggested might help you get through this time if you ever are having those low days which i'm sure we all are here and there and if you did like this video please go ahead and give it a like comment in the section below and let me know what you think of this video also let me know your strategies like i said at the start you know anything that you do to help cope that i didn't mention i'd love to hear them also if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all my future content and yeah thank you so so much for watching and i definitely hope to see you check out my next video